What'd I say? Neo apologizes for comments about parents. Somebody of, I used to know. Uh, for comments about parents of trans kids. Of course, that was the initial uh, statement put out. He went on a podcast with, um, I can't remember. It was uh, Gloria Valdez. The video vixen. Gloria, I can't remember her last name. Gloria something. I think it's Valdez. Gloria Steinem. Huh? <laughs> Not Gloria Steinem. <laughs> That's the damn yeah, prosecutor. Um, but Honorable yeah. Weston, rest in power, Whitney. Yeah, yeah. Rest in powder or power? It says power. Oh. It says power. Oh. Look at you. You were reading it wrong. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't reading it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he made comments on a podcast, an interview with Gloria, uh, Video Vixen, um, where he talked about family and his children and how schools and society expect you to raise them and say what's okay and what's not. Uh, gender transitioning and all the other stuff. <laughs> not power. <laughs> George said Houston digging in her ass to take out the shit is built different. You know when they on drugs, they sh- their poop gets big. Yeah. Like, come <laughs> on, man. But yeah, so he made these comments. He got a lot of backlash for talking about how he don't want his kids to be in a society where it's not okay to say you're a boy or you're a girl and you can't yeah. be the opposite. He got a lot of backlash for that. And, and on his... Go ahead. Go ahead. And on his... Um, Social media, an apology came out, a formal apology. But it turns out <laughs> that was his publicist. That was his publicist, not him. So that tells us that a lot, which we Handler, already knew, yeah, his, a lot of these celebrities don't be tweeting their own uh, apologies. apologies. It's their publicists that put it out, and they just don't say nothing, and they shut the fuck up. But Neo came out and said, "No, I that didn't say you. that shit." The publicist said that. Bitch. <laughs> you raggedy bitch, Lord have mercy. <laughs> it was somebody else. It wasn't him. So um, I see you being uh, I see you watch being Bobby Brown and the la- and the best thing was him looking into the camera and y'all say I'm crazy <laughs> talking about ice the nose no I guess um yeah Regina they acting like they didn't happen I think the majority of us just assumed that he was a member of that community and have never truly cared about him either way so yeah you yeah, talking about Neo yeah um now he walked back well, the- go ahead no go ahead go ahead. I was about to say, give it a couple years, like the rest. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to get to somebody else who, yeah. That's who she hitting around to. Yeah, yeah. Neo Walks Back Apology doubles down on controversial gender identity comments. The singer has revoked his initial apology while also issuing something of a non-apology. I will never be okay with allowing a child to make a decision that's detri- sorry, detrimental to their life. He's basically saying, I'm never going to allow a 12-year-old to make a decision that's going to affect them for the rest of their life. Which sounds like, yeah. that That's a logical way Look at to life. think. He, he was saying there's a lot of things you won't let a 12-year-old do, but we'll let them make this decision. You won't let them eat candy all day, but you'll let them make this decision. <laughs> that's an example he used, obviously. Which um, was not a bad... Uh, it's not. That I, not at all. He said, over the weekend, he'll appear to interview with Gloria Velez and the Vlad, on for Vlad TV, in which they criticized parents for allowing their children to have a say in their own uh, gender identity. From a young age, shortly after, the magician issued a statement. And, of course, he ended up walking that back saying that wasn't him. Now, he yep. also said he... Go ahead. Regina says it's called parenting. Uh, Shante says sounds reasonable to me. Which exactly. is true. Now, he also came out and said that uh, <clears throat> he don't care about being canceled. He said that he feels like in this world, this world just may not need a Neo. But that means that he's made enough money and he's comfortable exactly. in his He said, I'm going to get it and... regardless. I'm, whatever I need to get, I'm going to yeah. get it. So... When he made the comment, maybe this He's not world, putting on no more albums, no way, so. When he said, maybe this world doesn't need Neo anymore, that's a really, that really a strong, to me, that was a very strong comment. Meaning you can take me out if you want to. Not not just, I agree, not just financially and stuff, physically. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm willing to, once again, we I'm know he's in the industry. I'm willing to die for my niggas. I ride for this shit. <laughs> we know he's in the industry, but it's, from a two-dimensional standpoint, you could look at this and say, this is something he clearly has drawn in the sand. This is what or he was allowed to say. <laughs> you couldn't give, you you give it to him. I knew he wasn't going to give it to him. No, I ain't going to give it to him. Anyway, so that's Neo and his stance on this. We'll see his stance in five, six years. Five, six years? Let's say a when week. When they drain him out? Let's, let's see. You think a week? You think he lasts more than a couple months before doubling back on this? Because something's going to happen where he, this is going to be brought up. And he's going to have to walk it back. Either walk it back or stand in it. Shout out to Darren What up, Darren? He has fuck, fuck you money, money because he wrote a lot of hits. So the publishing checks ain't lacking. Exactly. That's true. Now, now that's, that's why other, I said behind the scenes. But there's ways they can get that money up out of you. 
He was staying stronger than Steve Harvey, George. <laughs> There's ways they can get that money. I, I know he owns his own publishing. There's a way uh, they can make you sell that stuff. About. Uh, they can they can bring up all sorts of shit. They they can make you sell that stuff. We've seen it. We've seen people that we thought was up. There's no way they can they're gonna fall. And next thing you know, something comes up and they selling shit. They start selling stuff off just to make some money to get by. And then a few years after that, they down bad. So yeah, wish them luck. <laughs> I wish him luck. You gonna need it. Yeah.